Welcome back, Vikings. I'm Anju Wagner. And I'm Camila Rabar. We are here to bring you the news you need to know, want to know, and should know to get you through your week. Scholarship Allure for Juniors, the Outstanding Junior Student Award Program sponsored by the Corinthian Lodge in Puyallup is looking for your application. The application is available under the Class of 2023 Schoology course under Materials. All entries must be turned into student services by March 9th. The Curriculum and Registration Workshop will be Thursday, February 10th from 6 to 7.30 at PHS. There will be a counselor presentation, AP and Running Star information, as well as registration help course offerings, and the chance to see the school and visit the South Wing Tech classes. Here at PHS, students and teachers alike have had tattoos, so we at Viking Student Media sent Leah Schaeser and Nadia Harder and Ella Drangson to uncover the meaning behind some of their ink. Tattoos are a common addition of art to the skin of many PHS students. We asked Ashley Harkovich, Preston Wilson, and Dave Uli about their tattoos and their stories around them. The tattoos that I have are this green heart on my finger, a stick figure, stick and poke on my arm. I have a stick and poke on my upper thigh, a butterfly right here, a sun and moon above my knees, and then a heart below my knee and a dagger on my ribcage. I have a moth tattoo with a skull on my thigh and on my right ankle. I have a smiley face tattoo. My tattoo, uh, it's a traditional tattoo. It's uh, the Samoan tribal tattoo, so um, yeah. My tattoos don't have any meaning. I just got them because I thought they were pretty. I've been wanting a moth butterfly for a long time, so I decided to finally get it. Me, my brother, and sister all got matching tattoos. Each family kind of has their own patterns, but overall I got it because, you know, it's my, it's my heart, you know? But the students aren't the only ones with ink. Teacher Sarah Sherry also has tattoos with a beautiful meaning. But Grandma decided instead to become a full-time seamstress, um, and she, she made a huge profession out of it. Um, my first, the needle and thread, is a reflection of that. The second one is actually a piece by my favorite artist, um, Margaret MacDonald Macintosh. But to me, it has a more symbolic reference. Um, it really has to do with each of those little flowers um, in a variety of different states. Some are really fully open, some are fully colored, some are not. Um, some are just little buds that are developing. And to me, it, it symbolizes the, the women in my family, uh, the hard work, the effort, um, the growth, the potential for each of them. And the final one is the hummingbird, and I did get that um, right after my grandma passed away. Um, and if someone asked me about it, I always just say, yeah, that's my grandma. Um, <laughs> it gets quizzical looks, but it is, it is really the embodiment of my grandma. So whether it's just for fun or tied to family, many familiar faces around PHS have hidden art on them at all times. So next time you walk down these hallways, remember, there could be a beautiful little secret hiding just under the surface. This has been Leah Schieser, Anadia Harder, and Ella Drengson for Viking Student Media. Looking for volunteer opportunities? Well, mark your calendars, because on January 29th at the South Hill Park near the playground, the Midwinter Walk will take place. Only two volunteers are needed for this event. The other event is Daddy Daughter Dance on February 5th at the Springer Recreation Center. They are in need of eight volunteers. If you are interested in either of these events, contact Recreation Coordinator Kylie Ashley. Now over to the sidelines with Allie Larkin. and welcome back to the sidelines. Congratulations to Abby Nyberg and Jaylin Lewis who qualified as individuals for West Central Districts in bowling. Girls wrestling took 10th place overall at the River Ridge Rumble. Praline Werner placed first and Mia Cruz placed fourth. Boys wrestling beat Bellarmine 70 to eight last Friday. They also took first place at the River Ridge Rumble. First place was Joey Jones Nesbitt and Kyson Young. 
Second place was Tanner Grajek and Zaire Ford. Third place was Jason Schwem and Julius Umpig. Fourth place was Alex Welsh and Jaden Brown. Girls basketball got to celebrate their senior night last Wednesday, but fell short to Olympia. Girls gymnastics got first plate at their meet against Sumner, Capital, and Enumclaw. Boys basketball lost a tough match to the Olympia Bears. Thanks for joining me on the sidelines, and good luck to all our Viking athletes. Thanks for watching this week's episode of DNN. Stay purple, bikes. Stay, Stay purple, bikes. Stay purple, bikes.